everybody to my tutorial. This is um, basic Java drawing using the canvas. So let's start it. So first we will open our Visual Studio as our tool. And then let's get started. First, uh, let's create a new project. Click here. And then uh, let's say we will create a new website. This is .NET. So I'm basically fan of using C Sharp. So let's start using this ASP.NET web application.NET framework, C Sharp. So basically, you can, you can use anything because we are discussing about JavaScript and not a back -end, any back-end applications. So let's name it as JavaScript, uh, let's say, draw one, draw one, JavaScript draw one, so maybe it's, it's cool. So let's hit the create button. And then let's say a waveform. Click create. So let's. So the tool now is creating the the files for our for our web. web. Basically, this is we're creating a website. So now here is uh, so many files, but basically you can delete it. But uh, just put it as a, as it is. So this is all the the Visual Studio creating the default files when you create a website. So it starts now. Then first is we need to we need to insert or add. We need to add. We need to add a new item. So let's say it's an HTML page or you can use an it's web form. It's fixed file. So let's say we have this. We'll use just the .NET file HPX. So we can <clears throat> name the file draw one. Draw one. So hit add button and we have now our draw one that is PX files. The next one to add is the JavaScript file. So here our draw one file that is PX. Next is we will create the file, the JavaScript file. Hit the new item, and then this one, JavaScript file. So let's let's say we name the file draw one. Hit the add button. So we now we have we have these two files created. This new two files created. One is the the ASPX file, which our which is our HTML uh, codes, and the other file is the draw one. That JS file. So basically can see it in our solution uh, files here listed. So this is our draw one, this fix file and draw one the JS file. So first is we need to import this draw one file to our to the draw one that we expect. So you can insert here between the head the head uh, tag. Let's say script uh but there's an uh, easy way to do it, to do this is just you can just drag that file here like that so let's discuss first the canvas so the canvas uh, coordinates is starting from the topmost left this is here is the zero zero and here is 1000 1000 coordinate Not, unlike the unlike the Cartesian plane the x is uh, the y axis is going up positive but in canvas the y axis is going down so in this case let's say we have the width of 1000 
and the height of 1000. So the coordinate here would be 1000 positive x and 1000 positive y. So that's it. So that's it. Uh, that is uh, how a Cartesian our canvas works. So I'll go back to our code. Uh, let's wait now the canvas. So let's say we will create the canvas here in the form. So let's type canvas and let, let, let's put an ID. Let's say my canvas 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 one and then we will, we will put a width of 1000 and height of 1000 okay so we have now our canvas so if you look at the design here in the visual studio so here we have now our mm -hmm. canvas so we will draw our javascript drawing here in the canvas so let's say we will draw a line so our first javascript drawing is will be a line so let's go back to the source and then let's go to our draw one gs file so let's start it so it will create a function to draw a line and then let's say we will from x uh, starting x y and let's say a start x and start y start y and then to x and then to y so basically this is we are drawing we are trying to draw a line from here example uh, we'll create a draw a line from here to here just example so well, the the start y is here start y and start x and then this is also the end x and end y so that is our function that we are created in our JavaScript. So the next is we will call this function when our draw that the XPX is loaded to our browser. So let's insert here in body. So on load. So on load we will call that function. The name of our function is draw a line. So say draw a line. So draw a line. So our draw a line function has four parameters. The start x, start y, and the end. So let's say let's start our x at 100, 100 y going to 500 to 500. That's it. We have now our draw line. Yeah, so let's go now to our function draw line. So first, let's create the variable for our canvas. Document that. Document that. Get element by ID. And then get our canvas name so remember that we have this id so we will use this id i just copied it and then paste it here okay so our canvas id is now stored here so we will create also our context bar context say that get get context get context
YouTube. Get context study. So then we will start our line draw line. So we say ctx dot move move to. So this is our so uh, the functions ask for two variables, the x and the y. So we have now defined in our function the start x and the start y. So let's just type the start x and then start y. Okay, so let's make it standard. So we have we'll have uh underline okay so this is the starting point of our line so we're just creating here our first line here uh, the first point so that we can draw the line so let's make the line ctx dot line two command line two so this is our next point of the line 2x and then 2y then you have this one and then the last is the city stroke city stroke is the final command to draw the line so let's save it and let's start to run to execute our drool one that he expects so hit this ii express google chrome or anyone you want and use the internet explorer so i prefer the google chrome so hit it and just wait the google chrome will show up so wait a little bit and then we'll expect that line so there is, so there is now our line, as so we have coded and we have drawn. So this, here is our point 100, 100, and then here, here is our 500, 500. You can see. So in our next episode of this tutorial, we'll put some label here. And then we can put some color of our canvas. So stay tuned.